Right, so I've peeled the onions. Now while I was at it, I peeled some garlic. And so we're gonna have garlic, and you know me, I like plenty of garlic. So we've got quite a lot of cloves of garlic here. Before we start chopping that up, what we need to do is start infusing the chicken stock. So, chicken stock went around about 250ml, so I've just boiled my kettle. Too much. Too much. Alright. Is that right? Uh, I use these chicken stock pots. Because I'm extravagant, don't I? Alright, get that in there. Okay, and then we want a good pinch, good pinch of saffron. Okay, so this is where I get the lid and it goes in there. So there's quite a bit in there, so I'm going to chuck a good portion of that in there. Okay, um, if you buy it in your little, them little short containers, you'd probably be thinking you just chucked about 10 quid's worth in there. But I buy it from the Asian cook shop, I keep telling you. Nowhere near as expensive. It's a little bit expensive, but nowhere as expensive as buying it from the supermarket. So, actually, I won't use that with a spoon because I'm going to use that for the onions. So, get a spoon, get my stock cube starting to dissolve. I mean, already before, see that colour? A lot of that colour came from that saffron I put in there. Alright, so, give that a little bit of mix up. And I'm just going to put that over there. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can hear in the background. We have got a musical accompaniment tonight. Um, here's a thing. Every Saturday lockdown time, Kathleen Jenkins does a free show. Sporty thing apparently this week. I don't know quite what she's about to see because I was chatting over her. Dunno. Right, so we've got the saffron going. Let's get our herbs. Wee. Tonight, we're not going to use a spice blender because we're not using a huge amount. So, I'm going to use the mortar and pestle. Okay, nice big, heavy granite one. This. So, we want a teaspoon. A teaspoon? Yeah, a teaspoon of these. Oh no, this is what they sing at the Welsh games, isn't it? Isn't this the Welsh anthem? When you go to the rugby? I'm sure this is what they sing. So, I'm going to put a teaspoon of them in there. And get grindy. Okay, it do not take long actually. Sorry, Catherine. Can't quite hear you. There we go. So, chuck that in there. Oh, that that be is too gassy. Right, now, we also want to go with that one, a teaspoon of ground ginger. That I've already got ground. So I'm going to chuck that in there with that. And then, the last thing we're going to want, but we don't add it together at this stage, but while we've got all this here, we might as well do it, uh, we're going to have a teaspoon of ground black pepper. So I'm going to grind some of that up. All right. So chuck them in there. Not an awful lot of spices going in this. All right, Catherine. All right, Catherine. Calm it down a bit. Calm it down. I'll turn it down a bit. So these are a little bit harder to grind up. Once they get going, they're alright. So, that's the spices prepared, that's all you're having. Wait! 
see they all ping out all over the place. See, do like this. Kitchen diva, singing diva. Wearing red though, not wearing pink. Oh, well, she's talking to the camera. Nice view. Front of your own. Thanks very much, Thompson. Right, so I'll put that to one side. Right, our eyes and living don't go into quite later on, right? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to slice up thinly the garlic and I'll add that into the spice mix because they that all go in three going together and then I'll chop up my onions and then we're ready for the next bit all right so I'm going to listen to Catherine you can do what bloody hell you like you want a cup of door shark, a cup of door shark. um I'll catch you in a bit <laughs> 